Is it supposed to be parked there? Huh? Is it supposed to be parked there? Am I supposed to be parking here? Yeah, is it supposed to be parked there? Yeah. So, if this is private property, yeah. and this is your private car, yeah. why are you supposed to park there if you're outside your um, normal working hours? Because these two parking spaces. Yeah. Police, police where, where does it say that? So if you drive away, it will say police staff there, yeah? No. Well then, this is not for police staff then. It's not for police staff then. Well, it is. It's private land, isn't it? It belongs to the police station. And um, who does the police station, who does the police belong to? Who does the police belong to? Yeah. Do you work for Somerset, and uh, even the Somerset Police? Yeah. Yeah? What what rank are you? What rank am I? Yeah. I'm a uh, Detective Sergeant. Are you? Yeah. Okay, Detective Sergeant. Do you mind me asking you a question? Yes, of course. Okay, is um, Avon and uh, Somerset Police, do they respect um, people's disabilities? Yes. Yes? Okay, um, I've been informed that one of your DCs yeah, has been going through uh, an employment tribunal with them because uh, they wasn't uh, respected for disability. Is that, is that something you'd like to comment on? I don't know anything about it, so I can't make any comment. Yeah, have you read your, have you read your um, disciplinary, uh, sorry, have you read your disability um, policies? Have I? Yeah. Vaguely, at some point in my past, probably, yes. So you don't sign them year to year? Uh, we're not expected to. Okay, so what about new legislations and um, that would, how would you keep up to date with them? We have, uh, we have a system uh, of continual professional development which allows us to go on there and any new legislation that comes forward, depending on the rank and the profile and the job and the position that you hold within the constabulary, mm. relates to which part of the CPD uh, software you actually complete. Okay, but the Disability Act is a is a, an act which may be updated, so it's not to do, surely it's not to do with CPA, CPD, CPA, sorry. CPD. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, is it, is it your development? Continual personal yeah, development. Yeah, I know what yeah. it stands for, yeah. yeah. So um, if, if there's new legislation, you would have to just um, sign the document, yeah? Now, there's no obligation for each person in the constabulary to sign anything to do with any of it. The software records what you've done. So there's no obligation, there's no signature, there's no piece of paper anywhere that says, I have to sign this because I've completed it. The piece of software records the fact that you've actually signed or you've actually completed the mandated, required continual personal development software that you're supposed to attend. Okay, so that sounds like a bit of goobly goop to me, but simply because if, if something new comes out, yeah. how would you know if you haven't read it? Because the software tells us that we're supposed to do it and we're supposed to read it. Okay, so anytime something new comes out, you're supposed to read it? Well, there's, there's normally the constabulary puts forward a, uh, on, the, on the software that we use, mm. has a mandated uh, training courses or information courses that we're supposed to complete. Right. So when you complete those, it records it. Right. So there's a full record of the fact of what you have and haven't done. And it's audited, isn't it? It's an auditable document by its virtue that it's a piece of software. Not that it's a piece of paper that says, I've signed to say that I've done this. Okay, so let me just, I'm going to ask you the question again then. Yeah. Are you up to date with um, disability um, laws and regulations? As I said before, there's no, there's no necessity for me in the position that I have yeah. to be aware, fully aware of all the required disability regulations that there are for the constabulary. The constabulary makes policy decisions on everything it does in relation to disability. Okay, so uh, a fresh question. If you heard somebody being derogatory and um, towards somebody who had a disability, yes. what would you do? It would be dealt with appropriately. They'd be given some words of advice. No, I'm asking, what would you do? What would I do? Yeah. Well, well, I would be doing exactly that. I would be giving them some words of advice. It depends to what nature as you're talking. You, you know, it, <clears throat> no discrimination is right, and none of it's acceptable. But we have to we have to take a measured approach to these things okay. appropriately. So, so it's, it's a vagety question, really, isn't it? Mm. You're asking me. It depends to what extent. Now, now I would deal with it by way of giving somebody appropriate words of advice if I thought that that was appropriate. Circumstances. So you wouldn't report it? Pardon? You wouldn't report it? 
it was reported to me as a supervisor. So it has been reported, I've heard it, and I've dealt with it appropriately. Okay, so that's your now, role as a supervisor? Now, now mm -hmm. if... If if is he okay? if if is I um, why would she ask that? You guys are crazy. But anyway, if, if if I felt that it needed some more sanctions, yeah. then I would deal with it appropriately. Okay, it's a judgment okay. decision as a yeah. supervisor mm -hmm. and as individuals within the constabulary mm -hmm. as to what they are happy to deal with, what the situation dictates for such a case, and what the constabulary feels is a policy that has to be dealt with differently. So so if it was. If it was extreme, mm. then then yes, it would have to be dealt with appropriately. Oh. Now that's what I'm saying. It's a vague question. You're saying to me if you heard somebody saying something, well, what did I hear? It's a difficult decision. It's a difficult yeah, no, answer for me to I understand that, but I mean, answer. I mean, there there should be a a thing. Well, it's there's zero tolerance really. So yes. that that's kind of what I'm trying yes. to say. So if there's zero tolerance, yes. yeah. How would you act if you heard somebody being derogatory towards somebody who had a dis uh, disability? And if it's a matter of you heard them yes. and you're saying that you're in the position to give them words of uh, advice. Yes. If I feel it's appropriate in the circumstances. If you feel it's, it's appropriate in the circumstances. Yeah. How would, wouldn't you, how would that words that's, of advice. That's the minimum sanction by the way. That's, words of advice. No, 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 no. That's the minimum sanction that I would. It depends, doesn't it, really? That's why I'm saying it's a vague question. Because yeah, but if there's zero, zero tolerance, yeah. yeah, surely it should be reported that this person is being derogatory to somebody with a disability because that is it's being zero tolerance. Yeah. So it's got to be reported and, and put somewhere. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So, well, I keep a record as a supervisor. Okay. I keep a pocket notebook. So right. then it's recorded, isn't it? Okay, it's so. It's recorded. Yeah. And if I feel that there's, it's necessary to escalate it further, mm -hmm. then it would be escalated further. Supposing the person who was spoken about wanted to escalate it further. Then I would support that decision. Right. So what I'm saying is that I have information as such mm -hmm. that one of your police officers um, heard um, one of their colleagues being derogatory to another colleague, so this is a three-way thing, yeah. and they reported it, and um, it was closed down because um, your officers wasn't having a bean of it. They were like, nah. And because the person wanted it escalated, as a police force, you started bullying her. And um, basically, it escalated where they um, felt that their mental health was um, at risk because of the way that they were being treated. So in you saying that you would support it, that's not that's not the consensus that everybody in, in um, Avon and, Dev and Somerset would... Say that again? It should be. It should be. Yeah. Okay. And, and unfortunately, the situation you're actually explaining to me mm -hmm. is a third-hand... Um, you know, it's an assumption, isn't it? No, it's not an assumption. It was taken no, to... Unless you've spoken to the people involved... Yeah, but... It's you're you're hearing a third hand piece of information. Okay. Okay. You don't know the full facts. Okay. And you can't comment on the full facts. And neither can okay. I. Keep on saying I, okay. I, I cannot confirm no. what has and hasn't been done. But and, and I'm not willing to make a decision. But this has been taken to tribunal, so it's out in the public domain. Well, that's fine. Then. Yeah. So and therefore. It's for the to deal with, yeah. with the individuals involved. Yeah, but you say case. you say it's a third hand thing, but if it's in the public domain no, and, no, and 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 it's something which I can read. Yeah, yeah, but but then that's that's of interest to you. And, and, and wouldn't it be of interest to you? Well, being in your position, what do you say? You're a detective sergeant. Yeah, wouldn't that be of interest to you? Well, it's 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 of interest to me because it, in my hope it would be that the constabulary would deal with it appropriately and they would see fit to deal with it appropriately. Okay. So it's so why I'm not willing to comment okay. on a situation that I know nothing about. Okay. Can I take your name? Uh, uh, my, my caller number is 912. Okay, so you don't want to give me a, no. a name. 912. No, because you videoed my car. No, no, well, I'll, so. I'll, take out, I'll take out your plate. Okay. I, I, will, I will take out your plate. Right. I'm not well, going to. If you're willing to take out my number plate, my personal car, my name's Neil Lyons. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, 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 I'll take that out. I mean, I've got no issues. I'm not here to, to video um, people's personal number plates and stuff like that. I mean, it's, it's of no, no use to me, no use to anybody no. in part of my video. Uh, especially what I'm doing, because I'm doing a story on public interest, a public interest story about um, uh, a DC actually, yeah, who was treated 
really disrespectfully because she stood up for a colleague yeah. who had a disability and it's like you guys closed ranks on her and started um, bullying aspects. I mean, this is something that I've read. Yeah. So I'm, I'm literally here not to antagonise anybody or anything, but just to find out whether or not officers here have ever experienced any um, discrimination or um, are tolerant towards people with disabilities because it doesn't seem like it because this is now two people the person that was that was spoken to in a derogatory way mm -hmm. and now the person that stood up for for them so that's two people that has been um uh mm, I, I don't want to use any any harsh words so that, that that's two people that that's lives basically have um uh, come a cropper because of their colleagues within the police force. I mean, obviously, different police forces, the Metropolitan Police under special measures, Charing Cross Police Station, you know, very um, magistinistic and derogatory sexes were flying about the place. Does this happen here? Not as far as I'm aware. No? And, and, so you're not in no WhatsApp groups, no? No, no. And, and, and I'm quite disappointed. I'm quite disappointed that you, as a member of the public, believe that we as a constabulary are, are harbouring any of those sorts of attitudes any of those sorts of actions because it's nothing that that i've that i've noticed and there's nothing that's that's come across to me in the 25 years that i've been a police officer with avon and somerset constabulary i but can this... actually genuinely say that i've i've never heard those types of things i've never tolerated and it's never been tolerated well it has obviously if this well, if this officer is that to take your no, employer to call I, I can only call upon myself and, what and I they're know part and of what your avon and, and somerset police force and they're a dc yeah. so i should imagine that if you're not aware of it then something is definitely amiss because if you if you're in an organization which is quite small in the sense of being bristol yeah, and you've got people taking your chief constable, yeah, to court for employment for dis for disability issues. Shouldn't that be something which is being spoken about? Surely it shouldn't be under wraps, which it probably is because that's why I'm reporting on it yeah, but because it's not known. But you're saying it's under wraps. Mm -hmm. you know, the constabulary is open and transparent, and it, re it actually lets people know about all the complaints and disciplinary offences that go on with our, within our constabulary. It's what? much the same as the fact that that information is passed, to, is to, passed to media outlets so that we can show that we are honest. Yeah, but you just said that you didn't know about it. No, but just because I don't know about it... And you've been here 25 years. No, so you're no, telling me in 25 years you've no, never come no, across no, anything like that? About situ this situation. No, I'm talking about disability this situation. situation. You're talking about, yeah, that's right. First, the second yeah. person that said that you're okay. Why are you asking if he's okay? Why shouldn't he be okay? Well, I'm just asking him. Why? Why? Yeah. You're filming him. So what? Just asking if he's okay. Don't ask him if he's okay. He's fine. All right. He's a big man. He's yeah. all right. If he didn't want to be okay, he would have got in his car and gone away. Gone away, yeah. All right. Yeah. Another sergeant, yeah? Identify yourself. See? You come out, you ask him, you don't identify yourself. Is that against your policy as well? All right, Fox to Oscar. I need to go home. So okay, yeah. I, I, yeah. Do you know why I digressed then? Yes. She's come out. She's asking you if you're okay. Yeah. Right. I'm not keeping you hostage. If you wanted to walk away, you would have gone long time, just like what you just said. And I find that actually quite rude and intrusive that you've had an officer or the rank sergeant leave whatever she's doing and having to come out to ask you if you're okay. Can you see, and you talk about transparency, it's not transparent. Everything is undercover. And, and I actually can't imagine that you don't know about people of your rank, yeah, who's actually taken your chief constable to tribunal for an employment issue which deals with disability. No, but I, I, can understand, I can understand the position that you're coming from, but you must understand from the position that we're coming from. You say about Avon and Somerset being a small constabulary. In, in in the grand scheme of things, yes, even as some say, in comparison to the Metropolitan Police, mm. we're a tenth of the size number-wise. A tenth. Okay. So, so that's how small we are in that comparison. But regionally, apart from Devon and Cornwall, we're one of the largest by by staff numbers. How many DCs any. you got? Oh. How many, roughly? Oh, roughly? I, I don't know. 500. 500 I don't know. DCs? I don't know. 
I yeah. Mean, that's not a question and nothing that really particularly interests me. So I wouldn't know. No, one. It's the same as you know, with, you know, because that really lets us know about issues that are raised and learning that comes from anything similar to what you're mentioning now. Now, if you're mentioning the fact that a colleague has been bullied, victimised, discriminated against on the basis of their their disability, mm. and and a colleague has then supported them. And there's some learning that then comes out of the whole of that process. So that, hold on, what do you mean a colleague has what do you mean a colleague has supported them? I don't understand. Did, did oh. you not say that a colleague heard this and then raised yeah, this and yeah. then they supported them? No, they didn't. That's the point. The point of it is that you guys of your rank and above yeah. closed ranks on the on the person, yeah? And then they started bullying as a team mm. this person. Well, that's disappointing. To such an extent if that's true, that, that then that's she thing. then yeah. they yeah, started to have issues about her job. This is what I said, it ruined two lives. Yeah. They started having issues about her job coming in, the team around her, the people, her supervisor, yeah. because you guys didn't support her. Yeah. Because there wasn't a zero tolerance, the person that probably said it, or well, there can't be, because the person that probably said it has got away scot-free because the person that brought it to their supervisor's attention yeah. is the one that started to get persecuted. Well then, as I said at the start of this, it's very difficult for me to answer a question on a hypothetical because I don't know anything about the case. Mm. And unfortunately, I'm not willing to say to you right now, you know, X, Y, and Z about anything that's happened because I don't know the full facts to be able to make a fair and reasonable assessment of what is actually the truth. Okay. And and if and if I have two colleagues, mm -hmm. one colleague that was was victimised. And one colleague that then supported them, and and then they were both being victimised, and they were both being, you know, dealt with in, inappropriately and unfairly. I would be very disappointed, and and it, that's why, genuinely, that's why I'm concerned that that that's the case because I, from from what I've known in the constabulary, that is not the case of what would happen these days. We would not see those types of things because yeah, but it it, is, it does happen. It happens all the time. Just like I said, Charing Cross, it's yeah. there. It's there, but it's covered up amongst the ranks. And if you the guys, what, what I mean, about Charing Cross? yeah, Charing Cross, how they um, had a WhatsApp and they was oh, sending this all these. To do with the Sarah Everard, uh, yeah, well, defender. yeah, but yeah. also there was yeah, there was two yeah. police officers. But but that's what I'm saying. So if you guys want to cover such things up, it, it's easy. Yeah. It's easy to do done. Yeah, I, 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 you know, you know this is of your rank and, a, and yeah. well, just below your rank. But you know, when you become a DC, surely you you get a little kudos. And if you can't say that you've heard of any DCs taking the taking the the chief constable to employment tribunal, I mean, it just shows maybe that it is being covered up. Because if you're not being told, when you should well, be told, because no, but because there's there's a privacy aspect to these things, isn't there? The, 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 the fact that a, an employee or a member of staff, you know, is, is, is been subjected to uh, inappropriate language used against them in relation to a disability, mm -hmm. that's a private issue. Well, uh, it's, you know, it's and, a public and, issue because it's in the public domain. No, but, no, but the results of what has happened, yeah. allegedly happened, is now a public issue. Yeah. The part before it is not a public issue. It's a private issue to be dealt with by supervisory and if, if that's not satisfactory, mm -hmm. then it goes to the professional standards department. Having been escalated to an officer of sufficient rank or a member of staff of sufficient rank, mm -hmm. and if somebody is still not... You know, still not uh, pleased, well, not pleased, but it's not satisfied mm -hmm. with what they have had and what action has been taken. Then they can contact the professional standards department, and they will conduct as an independent. They will, as an independent department, they will conduct an, an appropriate investigation into the allegation that's made. Uh, well, I don't know why you're shaking your head, but that's, that's the way it's supposed to work. <laughs> well, your professional standards is, is not very professional, right? And, and again, yeah, it doesn't work like that because people have gone to the professional standards about police. Just, just like I said about this um, sergeant just there, mm. I asked her who she was to identify herself. So she walked off. Mm. I've got this on camera. So for me to go to the professional standards to say to her, I, I shouldn't need to do that first and foremost. She's come out. She's a sergeant. She should have enough respect to turn around and go, oh, I'm sergeant such and such and here's my collar number. No big thing. No. 
but she walked away and now that's disrespectful yeah so if i went to the professional standards and said look what she done i could do that to other uh, police officers look what they done look what they're, they're looking at it and they're gonna say oh do you know what maybe she didn't hear you or maybe she you, you understand they're, they're not going to take the side of the person making the complaint simply because you guys cover ranks you cover yourselves so would you go and report her for for um walking off like that do you think that was disrespectful or not um no I, but, but i don't know that she did hear you so oh there you go so you're coming you're, you're doing exactly what i just said no but, but, but then she I heard know, me but i said how many times did i say that to, to tell her to identify herself yeah but, but this is more than once road, no, so no 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 <laughs> so so this is this is what i'm talking about yeah i'm wearing a mask hold on but i'm wearing a mask but i'm i'm pulling my mask away so i can talk clearly yeah but i'm having trouble hearing you a fair amount of the time because of the traffic going past so why didn't you say that earlier on why didn't you say sorry can't hear you step a little bit closer yeah but you said there's, 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 now, you oh so many times couldn't you hear me what i'm saying is you see and this is on film and people will be watching this yeah and they'll turn around and they'll start saying ah oh, there's a car that's gone past yeah but they'll turn around and say ah oh, now he's cop-splaining because realistically i just asked you a specific in regards to that police officer you said about professional standards i said to you specifically about that police officer walking away even though I asked her to identify herself, which she should have done in the beginning anyway. Yeah. yeah. She walked off and carried on walking. It's a good, and I'll show the camera how far it is. I said it about three or four times and she just carried on. If her hearing is that bad, then she shouldn't be a sergeant. She should literally, um, well, I wouldn't say she shouldn't be a sergeant. I'll take that back. She can be a sergeant. But if her hearing is that bad, yeah, then that needs to be flagged up because if there's an emergency and somebody says something and she's not going to hear them. Well, she's, she's got a radio earpiece in her ear, so... And... And... Yeah. And you're going to say that was going at the same time? Well, well, no, but I'm just saying. She's okay. A radio no, what you're piece. doing, you're, you're making an excuse. No, but I'm not making you an excuse. You are making an excuse. No, But again, but you're trying to antagonise me into Oh, look, see, so you're like using a word that I said that I wasn't doing. Well, no, no, but you are. No, I'm not. I just asked you a simple you're question. Me to for her that's not antagonistic, you know. I'm not accounting for her. Do you know that's not antagonistic? But I'm not going Why to did you use that word? Much the same as Why I'm did you use that word? Why did you use that word, though? Because I find it quite antagonistic. What is antagonistic? What is it? By the very nature of the point in which you're coming across yeah. and saying to me, I should know about this discrimination that's gone on. No, I wasn't. No, 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 you're no, saying no, antagonistic about this, no, this sergeant. That that's the case. You said about the sergeant, that's no, bit antagonising you. Well, 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 it's the same thing, isn't it? You're no, trying, it's not the same thing. To, I'm asking know, your opinion. You're trying to draw a reaction from me to say that she should have done something or shouldn't have done something. If you don't, if you don't agree yeah. with with what she did to you. Okay. So you would never agree with me as a, as a police officer. You would never agree. You you wouldn't turn around and say, okay, I'll go and speak to her and let her know that this member of the public was. Th that's what I would. That, what no, 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 no. I'm not asking you to do that. You're I'm do I'm that. saying that's something which you should be saying yeah. to me. I shouldn't need to say that to you. Yeah. You should realise that I'm disappointed in that officer. And as a detective sergeant, you should turn around and say, do you know what? Okay, I get what you're saying, mate. Yeah. I can understand. I'll go and do this. Yeah. You should, I shouldn't need to say all these things. But what you've just done, in my opinion, yeah, yeah is cops play. It's to try to defend the police on every level. So there's not a level where you're going to turn around and say to me, oh, really? Um, is, is, is that what happened in, in a, um, amongst the DCs or whatever, whatever? Um, I, I might even go and take a look at that. You might not. But you might, you know what I mean? It's just a something which would give members of the public a little bit of faith, a little bit of hope that police are actually listening. Because I'm talking to you, I'm not antagonising you at all. If you wanted to get into your car and drive off like you just said a second ago, I couldn't stop you. No. No, so we're just having a conversation. Courtesy, yeah. courtesy for you, that's what I'm not doing. I could have done that straight yeah, away. Yeah, you could I? have done. But yeah. then that's why she came out and said, yeah. are you OK? But again, I'd ask you not to ask me justify her actions if you're unhappy go to the professional standards actions, and i was nodding my, i will speak to her yeah because i was shaking my head about the professional standards so yeah. that's that's me displaying yeah. being unhappy no, about well, her the and start, the start of this conversation was about disability yeah and, about, and that uh, still is the conversation 
in the public domain that there's, there's, there's two members of police staff or police officers in this constabulary that haven't been supported appropriately in relation to disability mm -hmm. and, and inappropriate language and, yep. and, that, and their behaviour, mm -hmm. then that's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, I've explained that. I've explained that appropriately. I'm disappointed that if that is the case, which I don't know that it is. It is but, the case because I've said to you it's in the public domain. So whether you don't know or not, I've, I've yeah. told you it's in the public domain. Yeah. So it's not something which I'm but making then, up. Then you did say to me, well, I've said that why don't you know about it? No, I did why? say why didn't you know about it, but you can't say if that's the case. If I'm telling you that it's an employment, if, if I'm telling you if it's an employment tribunal case, therefore you can't say that I'm making it up. I'm not saying you made you said you said that if that's the case, yeah. But it's got to be the case because I've told you that it's in the public domain. So therefore, it's not an if it's if it. it there's no ifs about it. It is. It is. So it's specific. So therefore, whether you know about it or not is is different. But I'm not telling you something which isn't true. So therefore, it's not an if. No. It's a it's it's a, a truth. That's it's a fact. It's, it's a, a, well, it's not it's semantics. Back, so it's an actual it's, fact. It's, it's Please like to play on words. It's a fact well, thing. It is. It is. I, I'm, I'm listening to everything that you say. Yeah. I listen to what that lady says. I listen to a lot of people when, when I'm out. And words right, are very powerful. Mm. Yeah. Just like, as I said, in regards to the discrimination um, for the disability, if somebody said, and even then I had to withdraw my comment when I said if she can't hear, yeah, she shouldn't be a I, I took that back because that's not the case. I mean, I shouldn't have said that. So I did take it back, retract it. And that's what the woman who spoke about the, the, the your officer's disability in the beginning, yeah, that's what she should have done. She should have apologised profusely and said, Do you know something, this isn't something which I should be um, commenting on, simply because if there is a disability and, and it was a disability from your officer who was on duty and sustained that disability, yeah, so she would have known why she had been uh, di um, prescribed as being disabled, yeah, but yet she still took it upon herself to start saying things about the woman. And then when another colleague stood up for her and said, excuse me, but you shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's a, a horrible thing to say. And then try to take it further as, a, as an organisation and a group of sergeants, oh, sorry, um, DCs, DIs, chief inspectors probably, yeah, of all gang together to put that person who stood up for the person into a position where her job now becomes untenable probably yeah Maybe. and um, all because she stood up for um, somebody's right not to be abused by a colleague and you're saying oh I've never heard of that but this is a recent thing as well I appreciate it's that. very recent and, and, and I appreciate that you spend your time actually looking at for these things to obviously draw to the attention of the constabularies, to the police service as a whole, the behaviour and some of the behaviour that, that goes on. Yes. And rightly so. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the police service needs to be held to account. Of course. And, which is why I don't have a problem with speaking to you, because the constabulary does need to be held to account. Okay. The police service has to be held to account. Yep. But <clears throat> the fact is, you know... Um, and, and, and so it should. Um, and, 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 and what I would say about our colleague, well, both colleagues, the, the one that was uh, was victimised by the use of inappropriate language, uh, and then the colleague that then supported her, for me, every member, and it's encouraged in this... I just want to get these blue lights. part of my filming as well. <laughs> Every person in this constabulary is encouraged to challenge okay. and is encouraged to support our okay. colleagues, yep. which is what we do. And as I said to ah. you, 25 years that I've been doing this job, it's a lot better now. It's not perfect in the constabulary and the police service know that these things are not perfect. But what it is doing is seeing a sea change in culture which is now more positive than it ever has been. It's inclusive. One of our force values is inclusivity. 
So, so you can't tell me with a forced value of inclusivity that we're not going to support two colleagues that are saying this is not right, it's not proper, and something appropriate needs to be done. Which is why it does, oh. genuinely, honestly, okay. it does, it shocks me. Okay, and the thing about it is, and, and I will let you go, I'm not going to keep you here forever in a day, even though you've just said what you've just said, I can't tell you that, it was a police officer that has taken the, the case against the police, yeah? So a police officer has gone to an in, uh, the employment tribunal to say exactly what you've just said that you can't believe happened. So it's not me sat coming here and making something up and saying anything. So therefore, the culture, yeah, is very... What you've got to bear in mind is, as a police officer, mm. we, we use those words, allegedly, you know, and the other word that you described where you, you know, you're suggesting that I didn't believe you. That's a cultural thing from the police service. We, we use those words because, because that's, you know, that's... Because you never want are. to believe the, the, the person. No, I, no, where, There's always where we, a, no, where I'm saying, we use the words like allegedly and those sorts of things. Yeah, but what, what, what if it's factually, though? So if something's factually, you'll still say allegedly. Unfortunately, again, that's that's a situation where the police the police do that because there's always an allegation until it's, it's until it's founded because somebody is innocent until they're proven guilty. Yeah, but so you can Google this. You could Google it's this. An, it's an always an allegation, isn't it? Yeah, but you could Google this, so it's a factual yeah, thing. I'm not going to Google. No, I know you're not, but but that's what I'm saying. If yeah. something is factual, yeah. are you still going to not it's believe an the person? It's not factual. Well, it's, alleg it's an allegation. Okay, it is factual. But yes, well, I'm not dis I'm not disbelieving what you're saying. I'm right. not disbelieving what I'll So therefore it's say. not an allegation. No, but it is an no allegation. because your mindset is saying no. that it's an allegation. No. When it's a fact that's like saying to me the sky is blue and I'll say to you, no, the sky is red. The sky is blue, it's a fact. Yeah. But it could be red at, at a certain time. Yeah. yeah? Red sky at night. But what I'm trying to get at is if I can show you something, obviously, and I said Google it, and it's there in front of you, then it's not allegedly no more. No, it's still an allegation. Why would it be an allegation? Because it is. I'm asking Until you why. It's founded. If you go to court, founded. Or, or if I go to court, uh, or we'll say for the sake of arguments, I go to court for speeding. Yeah. It's an allegation that I that I was speeding at the time it's which, in which it was alleged. Right. Because I'm innocent and sort of proven guilty. Okay. So it's always an allegation until the result, until conviction. Right. That's the criminal justice okay. system. Okay, so let's... Right, system and, 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 then, and then what I'm going to end on... Hold on, so what I'm going to end on... Yeah. The allegation that was made... Yeah. Because she was... Um, the person that was talking about the the, um, uh, the the lady with disability, yeah, because she she may have had friends in high places, yeah, she could be turning around to people to say, oh, I didn't say that, I didn't say that, I didn't say that, yeah, and therefore, although it was something which happened, yeah, all the other um, police officers involved, supervisors and uh, inspector, HR, uh, whoever was involved, yeah, said. Oh, until you can prove it, it's just alleged that she said it. Because unless it was videotaped that she said it, probably everybody's turning around and saying, no, 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 so-and-so wouldn't say that. Yeah, so-and-so wouldn't say that. But so-and-so probably did say that. And because you couldn't necessarily prove that she actually did say it, yeah, the higher ranking officers closed up and started making the person that stood up for the person with disabilities life such a misery yeah because now they're turning on them to turn around and say well if you're gonna allegedly say something about one of the colleagues who might be popular we're gonna make your life miserable and therefore yeah that's why it went to the court yeah. now by going to court that's factual because she's gone to she's taken you to tribunal yeah, yeah? So the outcome is what you're saying, that whether it proved on whoever's side is the al alleged... Have you, have you got an account from any of the people that are involved in this? Is there a full transcript and case material available openly to the public at this point? Uh, I think there is. 
Right. Yeah, but, I think there is. Until such a point that you can review that information, mm. you're saying there's a lot of collusion, there's a lot of closing of ranks and all these sorts of things. That's speculation on your part. You know, all you know is the facts of, of basic facts that have been publicly allowed to go on to the tribunal website. But the very fact is that until, well, that's what I said to you at the start of it, until the full facts presented, I cannot make a judgment, or, or, or I'm not willing to make a judgment, not that it's my place to judge anyway, or, or to make some, you know, some speculative, you know, uh, consideration of okay. anything that's gone on, or anything that's been said, or anything else. You asked me about the, you know, about disability, and about the dis disability uh, guidance within our constabulary, which I said to you, we do, whenever there's new legislation, we've got a, a piece of computer software that records, because it's all audited on the computer, it records what we need to do. The constabulary tell us and lead us appropriately to what we need to know, how we need to know it. And it's done on an annual basis, much the same as when we do our handcuff. And our, and our pepper spray, and our ASP training, and our taser training, and all those sort of things. It's done annually. So, so we then are qualified to be able to say, right, that's what I need to do. They're the tools, and I've got in a, a physical aspect, tools that I need to do my job. So, to go back to that, I cannot comment on an individual case. I'm disappointed if the facts that you've told me are true, I'm not saying they're not true, but I'm just saying if they are true and accurate to what you've represented, I find that really disappointing. And, and I genuinely do believe that, that if our Chief Constable was aware of that information, she would find that very disappointing. They must be aware because the case was uh, brought against them. No, but it has to be because the Chief Constable is the figurehead for our constabulary. Mm -hmm. Now, now she, she's ultimately in charge of us all. Mm -hmm. She's responsible for us all. Yeah. So everything that we say and do, she's responsible for. So, so, so the fact that a case is being brought against her as a person, it's not her as a person, it's just her as a figurehead. Yes, so oh, I realise that, but at so, some point she would have been so, so informed. she's not to blame. No, I didn't say she's no, in, to blame, no. but she would be informed of the action. Of course. Yeah. And, and I'm sure she would have, because because she's a very, very good detective, as well as a... As Who's your chief constable? A chief constable. What's her name? Sarah Crew. Okay. Um, she, she, she would want to know the full facts of this investigation. Okay. Because as I said, I find it, I find it genuinely, I think she would be as much, if not more disappointed than I am. I'm very disappointed that if that's the case, that our colleague, A, suffered with that behaviour to start with, mm -hmm. and then a, a further colleague tried to support and back that person, mm -hmm. wasn't supported either. Okay. I, I find that genuinely quite, not quite, very disappointing. Is that this car that's running? It is, not my car, no. Do you know what, and, and again I'm going to say this, do you know whose car that is? No. You've got no idea? No. Well let me say that this car needs to be reported. And the reason why it needs to be reported is because it's idling and there's nobody in it. Again, these are the things which, why I film, because it's not lawful. This is something which I would again say to you, because I've got you here, <laughs> that you should be looking at and thinking, hold on a second, this guy's here filming me, asking me about incidents, about police. This lady's already come out and... But I don't need to take immediate action with this, because A, you've kept me for 38 minutes, past okay. the time I've supposed to have left home yep okay to go home, yep which out of the goodness of my heart I've okay to okay you okay this. okay this vehicle and the registration number will be recorded on the cctv at the police station yeah so if i choose to do something about it tomorrow i can deal with it tomorrow but, okay anyway so, so just so no but just by saying if you choose it. just by saying if you choose it kind of now dampens by enthusiasm well, I, 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 by simply saying yeah. it's not as if you choose your police officer yeah no. No, I have the power of discretion. Okay. Under law. So that means everybody. No, yeah, no, no, no. but oh, anyway, yeah. just because this is probably a police officer's car, mm. yeah, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a discretional thing. It should be like, actually, again, like I said, you're right. He is idling. How long has this car been idling? 
good 10, 15 minutes, it will be on the video, yeah, right? And again, on the video, because I'm gonna... Uh, yes, yeah, so if, if you go down here and turn right, there's a front office, you can add it in there, okay? Okay, cool, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, I've, I've taken, I've taken the, the number plate of this car, yeah? And I would hope that you would, not out of discretion, Oh look, see they've turned it off because they've realised that I've, I've just probably taken the number plate, yeah? But I hope that you would um, find out whose car it was and let them know that again, they can't be doing stuff like that. But they would get some appropriate words of advice, yeah. Yes, appropriate words. So as, you, as, a, as a minimum. But it shouldn't be a discretionary thing, it should be a thing, they should get it. Because if that was a normal person out there idling, up to a point and, and somebody come along and said oh mate you can't be idling like that yeah it's 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 actually against the law it is under the road traffic act it is so therefore it shouldn't be a discretional thing you've just said that it's against the law it should be reported no, but, or but this car should officer. be reported i'm just saying yeah, that's i'm fine. just saying yeah, yeah, it fine. is against the law I'm you said saying. a road traffic act it yeah. should be reported i'm i'm, I'm not asking you to but, to explain anymore no, no 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 it's against the law you just said road traffic act it's against the law yeah. they should be reported 